Doctor Gabriel Kumri. You are very welcome, sir. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you, sir. Everybody praise the Lord. This is your day. And the Lord will grant redemption to everyone, everyone here, everyone online, everyone, everywhere, in Jesus' name. If I'm talking about you, shoot up that hand. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that today will be the day of redemption for every one of your people in Jesus' name. Break every yoke, loose every bondage, and search everyone free tonight in Jesus name we thank you Lord because we know it is done and your people will experience your power even tonight in Jesus name it's done in Jesus name we pray God bless you once again. I welcome everyone to the day of his power, GCK, Global Crusade. A kind of crusade, a recreation of the Lord, redemption of the Lord that reaches everywhere. And everyone here, this redemption will reach out to you today. Online in every nation online in every country online in every community every congregation the lord himself by his mighty power will send forth redemption into every life in jesus name tonight we come to the message the day of redemption for the seeking soul the people who are seeking the people who are knocking at his door the people who are asking lord i need redemption now if you say you need redemption you need to understand you need to define what is redemption redemption is release when a slave who had been tied up who had been bound when a slave who has been pegged down pinned down when that slave is released and there's no more slavery that is redemption and we're talking about the day of redemption what's redemption redemption is liberation when you have been imprisoned imprisoned incarcerated in evil imprisoned incarcerated in something beyond your power beyond your control and there you are you have no power you have no strength there's no open door to come out and then a power comes from on high and like breaks you that is redemption what's redemption redemption is deliverance when god comes upon a life upon a man upon a woman and there you are you are hedged here hedged there in front there's no way at the back even to run back there is no way on this side on this side there is no way it's like you are done you are gone it's like you are finished and then when in the front there's no way at the back there's no way on the sides there is no way and then from beyond the sky from heaven from the almighty god the hand that is so long it reaches from heaven to earth and pulls you out and you are delivered and you say look at me my yokes are broken that is redemption that's what you come to talk about today and we declare that this day in your life is your day of redemption for the seeking soul well 
the people who are in bondage and he gets used to the bondage will you be healed no thanks they're not seeking the people who are in sin they're bound by evil they're bound by sin they're used to that that's their habit and they don't ever desire to come out of that slavery eat to sin there they are i'm a drunkard i want to remain a drunkard and they are there there is no seeking there's no searching there is no asking there's no prayer there's no supplication there's no looking up to the one that is able to deliver that's who i am that's where i am that's what I do, and that's what I always will do. Well, they are not seeking, but I know you are here tonight because you are looking for something. Tell me, I said you are looking for something. Those are the people because the seeking souls. Those are the people because they are passionate and they say, I want release. I want liberation. I want deliverance. What you are looking for, you will get tonight. Because this is the day of your redemption. The day of redemption for seeking souls. I'm reading from Psalm 130. And I'm reading from verse 7. Israel, hope in the lord brother sister friend boy girl participant at the gck tonight hope in the lord if anybody feels hopeless helpless i can do nothing he can do nothing there is no help coming from anywhere helpless and hopeless the lord is calling you today and he mentions your name let israel hope in the lord as you hope in the lord release will come tonight i said liberation will come tonight and deliverance will come tonight in jesus name he says for with the lord there is mercy he will have mercy on you say he will have mercy on me he says there is mercy with him is plenteous redemption plenteous redemption deep redemption high redemption broad redemption because with the lord with God, the God of love, the God of mercy, the God of power, and the God of compassion, it says, with him, there is plenteous redemption. It tells us in verse 8, in verse 8, it says, and he shall redeem Israel. Remember, Israel in verse 7, hope in the Lord. And when you hope in verse 7, what comes in verse 8 is that there's redemption. He shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. I need an amen somewhere there. Yeah. From all, from all, from all his iniquities. Redemption has come tonight. You will get it. I will get it. And then there's total release, there's total liberation, there's total deliverance tonight. Three things we're looking at tonight. Number one is the purchase, redemption, and remission for of sins. Purchase, purchased by somebody. For you already, he paid it all. Christ paid for your redemption. Christ 
prayed he paid for your total release and for your total liberation and for your total deliverance that's number one look at number two here number two is the provided redemption and recovery from all sicknesses praise the lord i am healed I said, praise the Lord, I am the healed of the Lord. Let me hear you say that now. Sicknesses will leave your body. Healing will come. Total deliverance will come. Anything tormenting your brain tonight is gone in Jesus' name. Anything tormenting any part of your body tonight it is gone in jesus name look at that lame man there paralysis will vanish away from you look at the short leg there that short leg will grow out and look at the blindness you can't see anything everything is black and dark brightness will come to your side because there is the provided redemption and recovery from all sicknesses. We're looking at number three here. Number three is the precious redemption. Precious redemption. Uh, what, you, what money cannot buy and what people around you cannot give you. So precious and so priceless. Priceless. Precious, priceless redemption and ransom for your soul we're here because of you christ is here because of you forget about anyone else if you were the only one sinner in the world christ will still have died for you and he died for you so that there'll be redemption he died for you so that there'll be release so that there will be liberation so that there will be deliverance. And here is it. Here is it tonight. Already you have the precious redemption. And is your ransom. Is the ransom for your soul. We're coming to number one. Number one. We're looking at the purchased redemption and remission for of sins. We're looking at the word of God. It tells us in Romans chapter 3 verse 23. Romans chapter 3 verse 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All have sinned. That's the reason why Christ came to be the redeemer. Christ came to be the redeemer from sin. All have sinned. And come short of the glory of God. And because we have come short of the glory of God, there's no way that you can climb any tree and get to God. The tree itself is cursed. And because the tree and the forest and the grass and the fruit of the ground. Everything is cursed. There's no way you can climb up that tree and reach God up there. Oh, but you see, I know one man, what's his name, that reached God because he climbed up a tree. You don't understand. He didn't reach God. God reached him. Because of Jesus Christ, passed by, he stopped there. And he, if he was to look up, if he was to stretch up his hand, he's falling short of the glory of God. The people even said, the man is a sinner. No, he didn't reach God. But when Christ Jesus, God himself, when he got there, he stopped. And he looked at him and he said, Zacchaeus, he called his name. The man did not volunteer his name. Christ called him and said, come down. You cannot stretch your hand and reach God. Come down here. God has sent me to you so that God, through me, through Christ, 
will reach you. And, and so you cannot do it for yourself. He is the one that brought redemption. And thank God that redemption has come to you tonight. Look at verse 24. It says in verse 24, Be says freely be justified freely that man on the tree he was rich but none of his money no more no matter how much he tried to pay for redemption he couldn't say he couldn't pay for that but Christ said today he didn't pay anything even though he had money money cannot buy redemption money Cannot buy salvation. Today I must abide in your house. And he made his and he came down and received him joyfully. And he was justified. And Jesus said, Today is salvation come to this house, to this heart, to this life. Salvation comes to you tonight. He didn't pay anything but Christ paid each all and then it says it is through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus now when we see redemption redemption of Christ of God through Christ for me for me for you there's another word redemption by god redemption of christ redemption for you redemption from something when we say redemption remember release you are released from something when we say redemption you are liberated from something when we say deliverance you are delivered from something we need to understand when we say redemption 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 from slavery as we look at the story of the children of israel let israel hope in the lord there were slaves there were slaves in egypt there were slaves to the egyptians they were slaves to Pharaoh. Redemption coming for them. They were released from slavery. And many of us, if we have not known Christ, there's something you are a slave to. And that slavery is what we call the oppression of the devil in your life. And now Christ has come tonight. He delivers you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He sets you free. Yeah. Redemption from slavery. Redemption from sin. No, no, that's it. We have come short of the glory of God. We're sinners by nature. We're sinners by birth. We're sinners by action. We're sinners by habit. We're seen as by practice, everything we do, even the ones that appear good, they are still the rats in the sight of the Lord. And when we're talking about redemption, the redemption he purchased, he has redeemed us from sin. That's why we call him Redeemer. You come to him and redeems you from slavery, he redeems you from sin. And praise the Lord, He redeems you from sickness. From sickness. Can I remind you, in Genesis chapter 1, there was no sickness. In Genesis chapter 2, there was no sickness because God created Adam and Eve in His own likeness. And God has no sickness. God has no infirmity. God has no disease. Adam and Eve, the man and the woman, they were created in God's likeness. After his image made he them, both of them. It was after chapter 3 when Eve 
and Adam ate the forbidden fruit and they disobeyed and they sinned that sickness came into the world and the devil that they yielded to that devil brought sicknesses in their life that's why the bible says how god anointed jesus christ of nazareth who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil oppressed by the devil because when the devil in the form of the serpent when he brought the forbidden fruit he also brought sickness and now that's why jesus came i am come that they might have life now he has come life will come to you yeah. redemption comes to you redemption from sicknesses from slavery from sin from sicknesses it comes to redeem us from substance you see there are people there are some handful leaves whatever you call it you can call it marijuana whatever you call it you can call it cocaine whatever you call it you can call it snuff whatever you call it you can call it any name but they are from those injurious poisonous dangerous deadly leaves and so it's substance and you take the substance and you think you are going to get high it destroys your brain destroys your mind it destroys the purpose of life you do not have any purpose anymore and you cannot control the substance the substance now controls you and when you are hopeless and helpless a slave a sinner and you are also a sick man a sick woman and then you add on top of that forbidden drugs dangerous drugs substance and every now is everything is compounded who shall save me deliver me from this body of death now christ comes and he comes to be your redeemer redeemer from slavery redeemer from sin redeemer from sicknesses redeemer from substance redeemer comes to release us the redeemer comes to liberate us the redeemer he comes to deliver us is the one that comes to redeem us from satan himself when we could not help ourselves and when we came to understand that satan is stronger than any man if satan was stronger than adam obviously satan is stronger than all the descendants of adam if satan was stronger than eve obviously satan is stronger than all the daughters of the mother of the whole earth and so if we're going to have redemption total redemption it's not enough that you know the the little thing there okay i will not do that again i will not do that again how about satan how do you get deliverance liberation redemption from that satan is the power of god that liberates and if the son shall set you free tell me if the son shall set you free as satan it took time for satan to understand because you overcame adam because you overcame eve because you overcame cain because he overcame nimrod because you overcame korah dathan and abiram he thought he could just come anyhow and he came to jesus and he said if and when he finished the sentence jesus said get thee behind me satan and he went behind 
I said you went behind. And the word of God says, He shall bruise his heel. But Christ, that he, our Redeemer, will bruise the head of the devil. And he destroyed him that had the power of death. And so delivers and liberates them who for a long time, their lifetime, are subject unto the devil. I am redeemed. I am redeemed. Redeemed from slavery. Redeemed from sin. Redeemed from sicknesses. Redeemed from substance. Redeemed from Satan. Redeemed from self. You know, what causes our problem is the cell inside. Give me the portion that's all right for me, that belongs to me, and self made him to gather everything and to go to the far country. And there he wasted all his livelihood by riotous living until he came to the point of hopelessness. You see, self, the self that pushed Absalom, I will. I will, I will. And that man, that young man, destroyed himself. Self, itself, the push, Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. And then eventually, the earth opened up and swallowed themselves. Itself, that influenced uh, Nebuchadnezzar and said, Is this not Babylon? that I have built for the glory of my name. And he became an animal, self, a self that drove Herod, as I gave an oration. And the people said, it's the voice of a God, not of a man. And he accepted a self, and then an angel came and smote him, and worms came out of him immediately. And we cannot deliver ourselves from self. Because we like to say, I am. And who is above me? I am. And who controls me? I am. And who hinders me? I am. And who can stop me? But the Redeemer that comes to redeem us, he comes to redeem you tonight. I said he comes to redeem you tonight. Redemption is release. Redemption is liberation. Redemption is deliverance. And redemption liberates us, delivers us from slavery. If there's any bad habit, any fleshly habit, you've tried to overcome. You've tried to conquer. And you could not conquer. Praise the Lord, redemption has come for you tonight. Sin, sin of every type. Actually, sin, S-I-N, is Satan in nature. Satan in nature. Violence, that's Satan in our nature. Fighting, that's Satan in our nature. Hatred, that's Satan in our nature, destroying other people, Satan is the destroyer because he seed from the beginning that Satan in our nature, opposition to God. Say, when God says go, I will not go. That's Satan in our nature. When God says, repent and believe ye the gospel. No, no, no. I'm not ready now. It's Satan in our nature. And the only one who can deliver us, there's no other name given under, me, on, under heaven by which man can be saved except the name of Jesus that Jesus will save you tonight. Yeah. He'll set you free tonight. If we just come and then uh, there's no liberation from slavery, from sin, from Satan in our nature, there's no redemption. We just came and then we go, we go back the same as we came. You will not go back the same as you came. Yeah. 
There is release, there is redemption from sicknesses. Praise the Lord tonight, you are healed. Praise the Lord tonight, I am healed. That weakness will pass away from your body. That infirmity will pass away from your body. That brain damage will pass away from your body. That weak heart. When I say heart, I'm not talking of the heart, you know, in the Bible now. I'm talking of the heart in your body. That's the center from which blood goes out to different parts of your body. The heart. When the heart is weak, when the nerves are blocked, and then the heart cannot pump the blood everywhere, you walk a little, you're gone, you're tired. It's like you're fainting. Strength will come to night in Jesus name the sickness in any part of your life any part of your body redemption has come tonight and he will redeem you from every infirmity and every sickness in Jesus name and then he redeems you from substance that thing you take maybe you even inject yourself and you know you think this is for life no that thing is crushed tonight because by the anointing every yoke tonight is broken and destroyed in your life in my life in my life substance will not be my master i said hard drugs will not be your master you're free in Jesus' name. And then from Satan himself, who goes about as a running lion seeking whom he may destroy, he will not destroy you. Now the Lord is going to redeem you, he's going to separate you from all those things, and you're free and free and free forever in Jesus' name. But you know, there are people that Satan, before Satan even gets to them, to bring them down, they themselves sell, will bring them down. They have their eyes turned backward. They have their heads turned upside down. They do things that even somebody that didn't go to school at all will know that this will destroy you and they themselves they pave the way they cut the road the cutlass they have they used to clear the way to go to hell by themselves the people that even before satan comes to tempt them they have already tempted themselves and they are going in the wrong direction i pray that self will not ruin your life and he says we are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in christ jesus that's why you are here tonight that's why you're seeking the lord tonight you are redeemed in jesus name as you turn over your life to the lord and you say lord here i am i come just as i am and what i could not do for myself i couldn't overcome the slave driver by myself they have the whip in the hand and they are slave drivers and they say eat shit he said no it's dirty i cannot eat if you don't eat it and they raise up the the the, uh, the the wheel then you say okay i will i will and you are the one taking the shit yourself and destroying yourself but tonight it will deliver you it will set you free the moment you say yes lord i give myself to you completely your redemption has come my redemption has come look at number two number two we're looking at the provided redemption and recovery from all sicknesses the provided redemption this redemption we're talking about redemption from sickness 
He is the one that has provided each and he gives us recovery from all sicknesses. Anyone there? Are you there? <laughs> look, look at that sickness. That's the last time you're seeing that sickness. Recovery, recovery, recovery in Jesus' name. In Galatians, Galatians chapter 3, reading from verse 13. Galatians chapter 3, but look at the first word there, Christ. Do, do I need anything more? Christ. Do I need anyone more? Christ. To redeem from sickness. To redeem from all infirmity. And to take away all my sicknesses. Do I need anyone else? It says Christ. To break every yoke in my life. Every yoke in your life. Do you need anyone else? Christ. And to subdue all your sicknesses in the sea of God's forgetfulness. Do I need any other name? Christ. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Somebody shout amen. amen. Redeemed us from the curse of the law. Curse of the law. What does that mean? In the curse of the broken law. When man broke the law of God, a curse came on them. I'm sure you remember if you're a Bible reader, Deuteronomy chapter 28. But before you get there, look at Genesis. The curse came because Adam and Eve broke the law of God. And go on all through Reuben, the firstborn, coming out of my body, he went and defiled his father's bed, and instead of blessing, curse came upon him. Look at Exodus, and it says, if you will hearken to the voice of the Lord your God, and keep all his commandments, it says, I will not bring upon you all the sicknesses and the curse I brought upon Egypt. Why did that come upon Egypt? They that bless you, Abraham, I will bless. And they that curse you, I will curse. That's why it came to them. Look at Sodom and Gomorrah and see what they did. They tried to reverse what God has created, a man and a woman. Now, they went into the peculiar scene of Sodom. Sodomy. A man and a man, a woman and a woman. And the curse came upon them. Before you now come to Deuteronomy chapter 28, that the people that will not follow the law of God and they say no, they don't recognize any God. They don't recognize the lordship of God, the leadership of God, or the law of God. That's how the sicknesses came upon them. And if you read to the very end, it says sicknesses of long standing. But now, after people suffered, 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 even David suffered, and even Ezekiah suffered. And many of those people, even Samson, suffered. He lost his eyes after he lost his sense. There are people that lose their senses in their lives, in their behavior, in their character. After losing their senses, they lose their sight. But Christ came when none of those people could deliver us and could redeem us, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Somebody shout amen. amen. Being made a curse for us, for it is written, curse is everyone that, that, that hangeth on a tree. 
Then it says in verse 14 that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles. Amen. Amen. Who are the Gentiles? All people who are not Jews like you. Are you a Jew? You are not sure? No. Because of that, Christ came now so that the blessing of Abraham might come upon us who are Gentiles. Everyone all over the world and even the Jews now, it is Christ that has made the way that the curse will get out of your life. Because I said, well, get out of your life. When I was young, my parents used to tell me, this, this sage, I never forget. When you see an old man, and he has something coming out of the nose, and the thing is there, don't laugh, don't point at it, because that old man might curse because you made fun of him. I never forgot that. That curses come from men. Do you remember? Do you remember a Goliath? Here comes David. And David was coming, having his sling in the hand and a stone. And Goliath, a taller person, a mightier person, an older person, he looked at David and he cursed him by his God. Curses come from, you know, some of these tall people, high people, but the curse could not get to David. It will not get to me. Amen. See it for yourself. Amen. Because David entered into the name of the Lord, a mighty tower and a strong tower and there is no cause from Goliath there's no cause from an old man that will get to that man David when you come to Christ tonight and Christ is that high tower no curse will come upon your life anymore and the curse you know I learned that there was a daughter going this direction and the mother said, daughter, come back. The daughter said, no, I've chosen this way. I will not come back. I learned from the daughter herself that the mother made herself like she came out biologically and held her breast and said, daughter, if this is the breast you sought, and I brought you up, and I kind of fed you until this time, then put a curse on that daughter. Curses come from men, they come from women, but that daughter, I came across her and preached the gospel to her. And she received the gospel. And every curse that woman placed upon her, everything was cancelled. Yeah. Every curse anyone has placed upon you tonight, they are gone in Jesus' name. Yeah. And then the curse of the broken law. That God says, he that does this, that this is what will happen. And now Christ comes and he bears the curse away from you. And now, tonight, as you give yourself to the Lord, you will have the blessing of Abraham. Amen. If you say, good amen, I will interpret that to you. Amen. What the blessing of Abraham? Abraham was a hundred years of age. And when he saw those angels and Almighty God coming to him, he even saw them. He had bright eyesight. You have the blessing of Abraham, your eyes will come back. Yeah. Then he 
ran. He ran to take a kid out of the flock. At 100, you were on. Yeah. I said you were on. Yeah. Because physical strength will come back into your body in Jesus' name. Yeah. And he had no charge. And he received strength. The body that was now dead came alive again. That's the blessing of Abraham. Everything that is dead in your body will come alive today. The dead kidney will come alive. And the dead cells in the brain will come alive. And the connection of those cells that it appears that, you know, I cannot think the way I used to think. I cannot imagine and I cannot uh, sense anything the way I used to. Everything you've lost in your body, everything will come back today. Yeah. And then Abraham, why don't you watch Abraham when he was going to sacrifice unto the Lord? He didn't have any of those um, of those servants. <laughs> Come and help me pull this. Come and help me hold this. This one is on the ground now. Come and help me take this. His back was still as it used to be. Your back will come back again. Your life will come back again. The blessing of Abraham physical the blessing of abraham spiritual anything you touch will turn to blessing the people who bless you they will be blessed and the people who cost you is unfortunate for them because now christ our redeemer has come physically blessing will come upon you spiritually blessing will come upon you emotionally blessing will come upon you you see there are people as uh, said they pass through some things in life every little thing makes them cry every little object makes them cry it's like all the water in their body passes to their brain passes to their eyes if you ask them question they cry emotional disturbance you're free today because you see abraham was not like that emotionally well healthy spiritually well and healthy physically well and healthy spiritually well and healthy tonight is my night that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. That the venue, that the road, that the personality through which the blessing will come. And it has come upon you. That day that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. We receive, number one, the faith that receives by faith, Abraham. By faith, Abraham. Through faith, even Sarah. By faith, everything he did, he stood up by faith. He walked by faith. He lived by faith. He worshipped by faith. A new level of faith is coming to your life right now. And then through that faith, you have redemption. I have redemption. You have justification. I have justification. You have new life, new life in Christ, in Jesus' name. It is yours. I said it is yours. In First Peter chapter two, verse twenty-four. First Peter chapter two, reading from verse twenty-four, he tells us who his own self bear our sins in his own body, bear courage, took away our sins in his own body. Tonight, I see him taking away all your sin. 
bearing away all your sin, taking away all your condemnation, taking away all your guilt, and now you are free. Now I am free. It says being dead to sins should live unto righteousness. By whose stripes? By whose stripes? By whose stripes? You are healed. If you say so, you will see so. What you say is what you see. What you say is what you have. What you confess is what you possess. I am healed. I am healed. My blind eyes are open. Uh, why are you not answering? My limb legs receive strength. My internal parts receive life. Amen. Amen for you. Amen against your sickness. Amen against your infirmity. Amen for your redemption. Uh, look at number three now. Number three is a precious redemption and ransom for your soul. Precious redemption and ransom for your soul. Tonight is your night of redemption. Tonight, Christ was paid the price and made himself the ransom for your soul will be real in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Somebody shout amen. amen. And look at Psalm 49, reading from verse 7. None of them can by any means redeem his brother. None of them by any means the village prophet there saying, come to me, I will do this for you. None can redeem anyone. The founder over there, come here and I will redeem you. None can redeem his brother. The father cannot redeem the son. The mother cannot redeem the daughter. The religious man, the traditional man, traditional man cannot redeem anyone. Our redeemer is Christ. Your redeemer is Christ. It says none of them in their hundreds, in their thousands, the millions in every generation, none of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to God a ransom for him. A ransom for him. Nobody can do that. Look at the next verse in verse 8. It says in verse 8, for the redemption of their soul is precious. The redemption of their soul is precious so precious and priceless precious priceless more precious than gold more precious than silver more precious than the work of your hand more precious than anything you can do anything you have done more precious than any money you can pay for the redemption of their soul is precious and it ceases forever that is whatever man thinks he can do has ceased forever has failed forever but it is the lord and the lord alone that can bring that ransom and that redemption and tonight he brings that redemption to you in matthew chapter 20 verse 28 Matthew chapter 20, verse 28. Even as the Son of Man, that the Son of God, who became the Son of Man, that he may transform the sons of men to become the sons of God. The Son of God came down to this earth 
became the son of man that he might take hold of the sons of men and transform them and translate them to become the sons of God. He says, even as the son of man came not to be ministered to, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. A ransom for many. He paid the price. And he makes himself the ransom. And God the Father recognizes that. And he says, hold on to him. That's your ransom. Believe him. That's your ransom. Embrace him. That's your ransom. That's the one that is your substitute. And when I see his blood, I will pass over you. Tonight, you're saved. Tonight, you're healed. Tonight, you're delivered. It tells us in First Timothy chapter 2, reading there from verse 3. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of our, our God, God our Savior. Look at verse 4. Who will have all men to be saved. He wants all men, all women, all boys, all girls, everyone here to be saved. You'll be saved. He will carry your sins away. He will destroy the very power of that sin from your life. It becomes your redeemer and it gives you redemption. Tonight, I have redemption. I have redemption. Who will have all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. To come to the knowledge of the truth. There is one kind of truth that saves. The kind of truth that light breeds. And all that knowledge cannot make you calm. To the knowledge of this truth. For how many years did I study science and it didn't bring me to the knowledge of the truth of redemption? For how many years do you try to have this knowledge, that knowledge, and you've gone to the apex of learning? And that does not bring you to the knowledge of the truth of redemption. But now, hearing about Christ, now, believing on Christ, now, Knowing that Christ is Savior and Lord will come to the knowledge of the truth. And the truth you have had tonight will set you free. Amen. Look at verse 6. There he tells us in verse 6 who gave himself a ransom. Who gave himself a ransom for all. For all. My brother there for all. My dear sister there for all. My boy, my, my daughter there for all. He's giving himself for you as a ransom. I said he gave himself for you as a ransom. And tonight he brings you redemption. Where are you? I say he brings you redemption. Who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. Testified in due time. That my son there will testify in due time. Daughter there, you'll testify in good time. In due time that he redeems you from slavery. He redeems you from sin. He redeems you from Satan. He redeems you from sickness. He redeems you from substance. He, de he redeems you from self. Your redemption is available now. My redemption is available now. And whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Salvation for you. Where are you? Salvation for you. Redemption for you. Release for you. Liberation has come for you. And deliverance has come for everyone tonight. In Jesus' name. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. There's no excuse for you not to be saved tonight. There's no excuse for you not to be redeemed tonight. Tonight is your day 
of redemption because you're seeking soul you're seeking the lord i need my sins to be taken away you're seeking the lord i need all this substance to be taken away from my hand you're seeking the lord i need satan's hand to be blown up and to be streaking up out of my life that's tonight he wants to do because christ had given himself for you a ransom for your soul the redeemer of your soul it's bowed and eyes closed you want this freedom forgiveness and freedom from sin from slavery from substance from self-destructive attitude and action you want to be saved set free from satan himself who comes to kill to destroy to steal and you want that redemption now which he will give you tonight total complete redemption wherever you are you raise up your hand check up your life that sin will ruin you and drive you to hell hell fire forever and ever but now redemption is presented unto you redemption is given unto you are you saying lord i need that i want that i want your redemption christ has given himself a ransom for all raise up your hand wherever you are to the right to the left to the center to the back anywhere you are you are hearing the sound of the preacher's voice raise up that hand god bless you there as you're raising up your hand you want to stand up for that redemption you stand up now you stand up now don't delay don't dilly dally don't reason here and there and don't deny your chance your opportunity of being redeemed forgiven freed today raise up your hand and stand up online anywhere you are you raise up your hand you stand up and you're saying lord here i come i believe that christ has paid the price and has given himself a ransom for my soul anywhere you are you stand up while you are raising up your hand tell the lord right there that jesus i come out of my sin that jesus i drop the substance that is killing me destroying my life but jesus i run away from all those satanic activities and i break the satanic covenant that i had i turn to christ jesus my savior my only savior tell him tell him i come and i receive jesus as my personal savior and i will not go back away from him anymore tell him whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved call upon him with all your heart i receive christ as my savior as my redeemer as the ransom given for me as my redemption Amen. Amen. Keep on standing and keep up that hand. I'm praying with you as well as praying for you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, you see everyone wholeheartedly, genuinely, sincerely coming to you now, making Jesus the Redeemer, making Jesus the Savior, making Jesus the ransom for their soul i pray receive every one of them in jesus name yeah. forgive their sin blot out 
all their transgression and let the spirit of God be witness with their hearts they are now children of God and I pray this redemption will be a real redemption I pray the slavery you will cut off from their lives the seas you'll bear away to the depths of the sea never to be remembered against them anymore and I pray that the substance will not have any appeal to them anymore in Jesus name that Satan will not be their Lord anymore because Jesus is now their Savior confirm their salvation by your spirit witnessing in their hearts in Jesus name thank you Lord we know it is done in Jesus name we pray another amen God bless you keep on standing our officiating overseer tonight will come and lead us in this session of uh, you know taking the names and getting all the details and after that redemption from every sickness will come upon your life amen you are happy for jesus shout hallelujah all our brethren our friends who made decision please keep standing uh ushers counselors choristers they are by you there they'll give you a form feel free and give them necessary information about you i know you want to continue i know you want to make it to heaven you heard that our brother who testified how God delivered him, healed him, blessed his family. That's what the Lord will do for you. So stand until you get your name recorded. And uh, so we can, you know, be in contact with you. And we'll be able to help you more. In every area, spiritually, physically, and any area of your needs. The Lord will help you. And tomorrow, <clears throat> by 3 p.m., we're going to have a rally for you. We'll be giving you more details about that. But right now, please give us your details. Now you are born again. Now you are a child of God. You cannot lie. You cannot give fake names or fake phone numbers. Give us your correct names or your popular names, the names that when we call it where you are living, we'll be able to identify you. Give them the names in brackets, a kind of a AKA name with which you are known. And then your correct uh, phone number, 11 digits. Please, all our ushers, all our leaders, counselors, choristers, the Lord strengthen you as you get their details. Please do that quickly. Do that quickly. As I said, tomorrow, 3 p.m., we'll be having lunch hour with Jesus. A time you will be led into principles, fundamentals that will help you to stand strong and live an overcoming life as a believer. It will be under that uh, uh, roof, the pavilion, by my left hand side. You will see it there. That's where we are going to have the lunch hour with Jesus. Please be there. At 2 30, you are there already praying. Uh, three o'clock, we start the teaching and the interaction. Very, very important. And those who are online, you will see a link there. Give us your details. Click it. Uh, it will open up 
where you fill your details, and after that, you send it to us. Please, that is very important, so that we can also be in contact with you. Let's do that. Let's do that quickly. It's a wonderful thing to come to the Lord. It's a wonderful thing to be saved. It's a wonderful thing to have all your sins forgiven. All. All. Now you are free. As you have made up your mind, as you have trusted the Lord, as you have confessed your sins, as you have believed in him, no matter what your past was, the Lord has canceled them. He has erased them. Now you are a happy person. Now you are a free person. Now you have peace in your heart. Now you have joy in your soul. Give them the details as they request from you. If you can write, collect the forms and write. If you cannot, they will help you to do so. Our choristers, our counselors, please do that quickly. Don't leave anybody out. If you have not given them your details, please, if you don't mind, keep standing up until they have gotten your details. Keep standing until they have gotten your details. Please, it's very, very important. So that the devil will not trick you back into sin as you have decided for the lord stand for the lord stand up stand up for jesus those who have made decisions online the social media on the television your handsets please you will have a link there that will show up. Now click it and fill your details and send to us. So we can be in contact with you. All over, everywhere. And in all other locations, in Nigeria, in Africa and beyond, do the same. Do what we are doing now. This is the important moment. When souls are registered in the kingdom of God. In the kingdom of God. Not just that we are registering your name here. Heaven has already registered your name. So be happy. Do whatever you are doing with joy. And say, now I'm a child of God. Now my sins are forgiven. Now I'm born again. Now I am on my way to heaven. Let's remember the lunch hour with Jesus, 3 p.m. Under the covered pavilion by my left side. As you are coming in here, you will see it on the right. All those who have made decisions yesterday and today, please be there by 3 p.m. Be there by 3 p.m. And as you come, we'll have some time with you. After that, we we'll join the crusade. So be prepared when you are coming. You will not need to go home again after that. Three, four, five, the crusade will start. Our leaders, if you are finished on my left side, at the middle here, on my right side, please indicate. If you have finished, if you have taken all the names, wave your hand, wave your flag, let's know that you are true. Okay, I'm seeing that flag there. God bless you. At the far back. At the far back. If you are finished there, let's see. You wave the flag. In the middle section here. In front, at the back. If you are finished, please wave your flag. Let us see. Let's hasten, let's hasten. And on my left hand side, if you are finished, please wave your flag. Wave your flag in the front, at the back. I'm not yet seeing any flag. And those of us who are sitting down, please continue to pray and expect your miracle. A miracle must come upon you tonight. 
A miracle must come upon you tonight. Yes. If you are finished, please wave your flag. I'm only seeing the flag on the right. We're expecting from the back, from the middle here, front and back, on the left hand side, front and back. Okay, we are seeing flag at the far back. What of the front here? The front here and the front here. If you are finished, please wave your flag. Let us see. Thank you very much at the far back of my right. We are still waiting for the middle here. If you have finished, please wave your flag. Okay, God bless you. On the left side, if you have finished, wave your flag. Thank you. At the far back, in the middle. At the far back, in the middle, if you have finished, we are waiting for you. Please wave your flag at the back. Far back. Far back. Seeing all the people at the far back. Are there people there? Okay, thank you, brother, in front here. We're waiting for the far back. We're waiting for the far back. Are there leaders there? Are there workers there? Please, if you are finished, wave your flag at the back, at the far back. Okay, those who have made decisions online, this is the number you can uh, text your name and your details to. Plus 234-915-444-9263. Plus 234-915-444-9263. I take it one more time. Plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. That's a WhatsApp number. You can send all your details onto us through text message or WhatsApp message. Thank you very much. I think we are set now. Yes, those at the back. My seeing your flag. Your flag, yes, God bless you. Yes, God bless you. Yes, God bless you. Praise the Lord. Everybody shout, Miracle time. Shout it to confuse the devil. Miracle time. One more time. Get ready. The man of God is here. Praise the Lord. Redemption from all sicknesses. This is my day of redemption. Because I am a seeking soul. What you are seeking, you will get. Freedom, you will get. Healing, you will get. Deliverance you will get. Liberation you have it tonight. You raise up your hand. You lay the other hand where you have the challenge. And that sickness you see now, you'll see it no more after the final amen. Healed. Healed. I am the healed of the Lord. I am. I am the healed of the Lord. Let the Redeemer confirm that in your life. Raise up the hand. Let the other hand where you have the challenge. You are redeemed from all sicknesses. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come to you knowing. You've given Jesus as a ransom 
as a redeemer from all sicknesses. And Lord, I pray that redemption from every form of sickness come upon everyone now in Jesus' name. Amen. Give them recovery. Amen. Give them total healing. Amen. Give them the miracle of the hour in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I pray from the crown of the head to the tip of their toe, the soles of their feet. Let healing come to everyone now in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I pray that all the brain problem, madness, is uh, that the kind of lunatic spirit come out in Jesus' name. Amen. Every bad thing and evil thing the substance has done in your brain, in your body. You are released now. You are redeemed now. You are healed and delivered in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I pray for those that have any problem in their blood system, whatever the description of the problem, touch them, heal them in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I pray for those who have cancer, they don't have cancer anymore. Amen. I pray that that cancer will go back to where it came from. Lord Jesus who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil because God was with you and God is still here today with us. I pray that that cancer be healed in Jesus' name. Also, pack your load and go. I pray for that also patient. Touch him, touch her. Heal them in Jesus' name. Amen. The pile, I pray that right now instantaneously be healed of the pile in Jesus' name. Amen. Swelling with pain in the body. Lord, I pray, fibroid, come out in Jesus' name. Amen. Elephantiasis, be gone in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord on the neck, goiter, be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. And the swollen tummy, that tummy, come down to normal in Jesus' name. Amen. All the skin disease and the scratches and everything, you're healed of skin disease in Jesus' name. Amen. The boil that has been there for a long time, dry up now in Jesus' name. Amen. Eyes bringing out water, water every time as if you are crying every moment, dry up now in Jesus' name. Deem eyesight, whatever is called glaucoma, cataract, whatever, be healed in Jesus' name. Or the weakness of the nurse there that you can't see properly as you open your eyes now see bright and clear in jesus name the deaf and the dumb i pray the lord will touch your ears and touch your vocal cords speak out in jesus name and hear very well in jesus name i pray for those who are lame rise up and walk I pray for those one leg shorter than the other. Short leg, grow out in Jesus' name. Yeah. Arthritis, pain, can't raise up the hand, in the elbow, in the shoulder, in the wrist. Any kind of stiffness in your joints, in your waist, on your knees, ankle. Be released in Jesus' name. Yeah. I pronounce healing everywhere yeah. to the right healing yeah. to the left healing yeah. at the center in the middle at the back healing yeah. online everywhere healing yeah. miracle yeah. deliverance yeah. total redemption has come for you yeah. lord confirm it in every life yeah. thank you lord thank you lord Thank you, Lord. It is done. 
In Jesus' name we pray. You have got your own tonight. You have got your own tonight. Check up, check up, check up. There's a miracle there with your name attached unto it. Check.